<laughs> you and your band, Black Veil Brides, have kind of always had that uh, that chip on your shoulder in that way. Not in a bad yeah. way, but like that chip on your shoulder of like, yeah, it's us against everybody else. And we kind of had that early on as well. Um, I'm glad we went right into that, though, because I did want to ask. So the last time you and I talked, uh, you casually brought up the the infamous speech at the Revolver <laughs> sure. Awards. Sure, And yeah. I had forgotten about it. I remember yeah. I'd seen it. And then afterward, I was like, oh, shit, I do remember that. And I wanted to share with you the reason I had kind of forgotten about it is because for so long, us in the band, like when we're at rehearsal and stuff, and when we're just talking, and we say, well, let me... Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Start, yeah, that's, the, the, that's thing. the line. Here's the thing. And we fucking love it. I'm not casting shade on it at all. I fucking love that speech. Not for, you know, you know, calling people out or anything like that. But just, and I understand, we'll get to why that, that, yeah. that, I think this all ties into what we're talking about here. But I just wanted to share with you that, yeah, I'd forgotten that that was your speech because we had been quoting it for so long. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, that was Andy's speech. Of course I know that speech, you know. And we're always like, here's the thing. Because you catch yourself yeah. saying, here's the thing anyway. Then we start, you know, and we go into yeah. a diatribe after that. You got it. But you got to do the, like the wrestler voice with it. Now, I did oh, see. Yeah. I saw a video of you guys uh, where it was set on stage. And uh, I thought that, <laughs> that was that was incredible. it was an homage yeah. it was an homage was, to I, our friend i was so i was so excited about it i was like that's the greatest use of that because you know it's become a thing now where i guess like as a sound it was played on tiktok a lot and so we we were somewhere and this guy walked up to me he was like an edm producer and he was like oh i use the here's the thing sound all the time <laughs> 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 So, it, you know, that kind of stuff. I was glad it took on a life of its own. And when I saw that video, I, I laughed so hard. I thought it was awesome. Dude, yeah. It's 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 completely an homage to us. It's like, here's the thing. And we think it's so funny. Yeah, I mean, and on the serious side of it, like, yeah, like, you know, there were some things said that, you know, I'm sure you, you, you'd wish you could take back. Of but course. You, know, you of can course. only move on in life, so it doesn't really matter. But I also, I think another thing, the reason why we love it so much is because we have a kinship. It's like, that's the kind of shit, like, we may have wanted to say at one <laughs> sure. point. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And we're kind of like, you know, oh, yeah, that's like, that, that's pretty good. And, uh, and of course, the wrestling voice, of course, you know. That, Got that, to. The, the heel turn, it. as, as the Jericho turn called is, it, the heel turn. Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Oh, Jericho, yeah. you beat me to it. So good every time. Um, but, yeah, I, I think it ties into this. Uh, I, I saw you guys have this uh, this little mini documentary uh, now for this upcoming tour and the EP uh, that you guys are about to leave for, the Bleeders EP. Um, and you mentioned, you know, early on, you felt like that you guys were kind of on this defensive mode at all times. I feel like that's kind of, I mean, that was the time, right? When you guys had that, when you had that speech, you just, you were, you know, constantly having to sure. deflect and defend your guys', uh, your guys honor, I guess, for lack yeah. of a better term, right? Well, I mean, I think one of the things that's been consistent for us and, you know, you and I talked about this the last time I was on your show. Um, there is something about certain artists or certain bands that whether it's their music or their image or the fan base or whatever, there's a perception that's built early in the career. And then that is just something that you're saddled with. And for me at, you know, and I, and I talked about it when we toured with you guys, I was I had just turned 20. And my whole life was defending us and being angry and, you know, yelling at people in the audience or whatever else like that was because, you know, that I had dealt with it for so long as a kid. And then now I'm in this band and I'm having like Kerrang! magazine call us like the most hated band in the universe and all this stuff. And when you're that age, you just have so much like piss and vinegar that it was it became all encompassing for me. But it's not so much that that has changed, you know, the, the comment section of this video will prove that as well. There's plenty of people who, regardless of what I do or what the band does or whatever else, they'll maybe say something nice. They'll be like, Oh, he's a funny, nice guy, but his band sucks. You know what I mean? Like those sort oh, of yeah. things we hear that all the time. So, um, it's that always been, yeah, it's all, but it, as I've gotten older, I, I, it amuses me more and I try to take it to be something that, you know, uh, doesn't cause me so much anger so much as that it's, it's motivating in the sense that it has allowed us the opportunity to never, um, get bored of what we do to never have big egos about what we do to never be in a position where we're the darlings of everybody. So everything we do is immediately going to be loved. So you don't have to try very hard. Um, we've always had this scrape 
and and work and 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 push ourselves and i look at that now as you know through the lens of it being something that was beneficial for us because we've never been complacent and we're still always fighting to to make the best possible thing not to prove the quote unquote haters wrong but to yeah. keep pushing ourselves forward to make stuff that can uh be things that we can look back on and and love and appreciate and then also um you know entertain our fans cuz you know the number one thing at the end of the day is you want to entertain your audience you know, that they've put you on the uh, the quote unquote pedestal of being someone that they pay money to see or spend money on your records or merchandise, having an opportunity to go, Hey, let me entertain you is, is a pretty cool gig.